Hey everyone, welcome back to Faith Family Food at the Parsonage. My name is Tananda. For those of you that are new around here, um, welcome. And if you are coming back, welcome back. Um, I just want to jump right in. So I left off um, on my last video with um, some updates from the Raw Vegan Challenge. Some I posted some recipes that I had done. And um, so what I came back to do today was to give you guys an update. I usually try to post once a week, but life has been lifing right now. <laughs> and I'm just getting over some heartbreak, some health uh challenges and so I am back with an update and so with that being said I am going to spill the tea I'm going to give you the information give you um, guys a bit of what's going on but I'm going to pray us in first and then jump right into the conversation so with that being said let's get started um, so Heavenly Father I thank you for your goodness and your mercy I thank you for your grace I thank you for your favor God I ask that you have your way in this conversation um, give me what to say, give me what to speak, that it may touch someone's heart, that it may um, help lift someone up, God, that may be in the same situation as I am. Um, God, just have your way in everything that I say and do on today, and it's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. So, let's jump right into it. So, guys, um, again, so I said, like, where I left off was at the Raw Vegan Challenge, so I'm going to give you an update on that, and um, just kind of go from there. So I started the Raw Vegan Challenge on November the 5th. I was supposed to start on the 1st, but I didn't. I started on the 5th, and um, if you don't know what a Raw Vegan Challenge is, you can Google it or look it up. But just a quick uh, rundown, it's um, basically eating raw fruits and vegetables. I heat it no more than um, 118 degrees, I believe. Um, and you're eating fruits, vegetables, and that's pretty much it um, like maybe raw grains or anything like that and so that's what I did um, the challenge was supposed to be for 30 days however I only made it 15 days that's 15 days fully raw vegan um, I did it I started off you know good I was looking up recipes and doing things I I, ju I jumped right into it I had a plan I jumped right into it however by the time I got to maybe day 10, 11, I realized that I was kind of surviving off of um, smoothies and um, nuts. And so I was eating uh, pistachios a lot. I ate a lot of um, walnuts and almonds um, and cashews. And I realized that I wasn't really actually eating meal, excuse me, meals or foods. And so... Um, I kept pushing myself because I wanted to continue, um, but I realized that because I wasn't eating because I was cold, and um, I didn't realize that I was um, anemic at the time, but um, or that I was really suffering from it. Um, it was just, you know, my doctor said I had it, but I, it wasn't really like um, bothering me. And so going through those 15 days, you know, eating the cold foods, the cold salads, um, the smoothies and things like like that, um, I was cold all the time. And so I didn't want to eat. I, I just didn't. And so by the time I got to the day, like I said, 10, 11, um, I realized I was starving myself because I just I didn't want to eat. And so I would drink a smoothie in the morning and then the rest of the day I would just kind of snack on cashews, like I said, nuts. Um, I would eat seaweed, um, just things like that. And so I was barely, barely breaking um, 300, 400 calories, if that, um, because I was eating like the servings of nuts according to the bag when I ate. And so eating, you know, two to three servings of that, plus a smoothie, I would say maybe about, about 500 calories a day, if, if that. And so, yes, the weight was going down. So the lowest, the lowest number that I got to was 203 pounds. And so I was excited about it, but I was like, this is not um, reality. This is not sustainable because once I get under 200 pounds, then what am I going to be eating for the rest of the month if um, I came in and eat the meals now? And so I made a decision to just do like my smoothies in the morning and then for um, dinner I would do um, a hot meal um, so I had I made some soup so I was eating soup for a couple of days um, but then 
when we got to the week of Thanksgiving, my mom was in a car accident. And so I ended up having to um, cook the Thanksgiving meal along with my father. Um, and then she kind of helped um, out uh, the day of kind of, you know, a little bit. But because she got, she got in an accident, I wasn't planning on cooking Thanksgiving or participating in um, eating the Thanksgiving meal. But after spending, you know, hours in the kitchen, hours on my feet preparing and cooking, I ended up eating and so after Thanksgiving I just continued to eat and eat and eat and eat and so um, the weight that I did lose it it's it did come off however I did gain about five pounds of that back um, and I was just telling a friend that you know I feel like I've been eating since Thanksgiving it's like um, I did those 15 days raw vegan and it's like I am making up for a lost time and so I'm not feeling my best just because um, coming out of Thanksgiving and then just eating the leftovers um, and then just kind of jumping back into life. And, you know, after the holiday, you go right back to work or, you know, regular real life. And um, yeah, and so like I've been eating um, some processed food, I've been eating meat. And I hadn't had meat in a while. And so, like I said, Thanksgiving, I ate everything. And so I had beef, chicken, um, pork. I think I had everything except seafood uh, for Thanksgiving. And so it, I'm not complaining, y'all, because the food was good. It was bomb. However, um, now I am trying to figure out the balance. Because I don't want to go so far left that... Um, I'm craving things, craving foods um, that are unhealthy, but then I don't want to go so far right that I'm starving myself and trying to, you know, I'm just trying to find a healthy balance. So um, the raw vegan was not for me, excuse me, especially not during the winter time. So it's maybe something that I could revisit in the summer where I'm more apt to eat less anyway, um, but I eat more salads, more fruits. Uh, because it's hot outside and no one wants to be, you know, bogged down with a full stomach and um, heavy and all those things during the summertime. I'm usually outside, um, enjoying the sun, getting out, my, getting my exercise in. So it's something that I will revisit in the summertime, but now it was not for me, not in this cold weather. So I, like this morning, I had a green smoothie and then um, for the rest of the day, I had a soup. Um... I did eat, eat some wings. I had six wings. And um, for dinner, I made sloppy joe with the kids. But I actually ate chicken salad. So I am, trying, like I said, trying to find a balance. And that's that's what's going on there. Um, and then kind of emotional roller coaster for me right now, um, which also contributed to the decision of coming off of the raw vegan and just going back to regular food. Um, because I had, um, as, you, as many of you know, I am a foster parent. And so we had um, a child come into our home and we were kind of expecting um, the child to be here for a while. Like we were planning for them to be here and he only ended up being here for a week. And what I did not realize was um, while the child was here, they just kind of jumped right in as if they'd been here forever. I mean, he was only two years old, um, but he came in and he was like mommy and daddy and um, just fit right in with the rest of the kids and it was as if he belonged here and so for him to come and then leave um, what seemed to us suddenly it was um, devastating honestly and I didn't realize it until you know a while a, a, a week or so after he left how um, deeply affected I was by him being here um, how we fell in love with him just that little bit of time and then he left and I realized that I was grieving um, his departure because um, I don't know it just I guess because it seemed so sudden that he left but him being here kind of awakened some things in me as far as being a mom and my desire to be a mom to birth um, my own children even though I have foster children you know that desire to birth my own children it, it doesn't go away and so he reawakened that in me and so when he left it was like oh my god I do want 
children that are going to, you know, call me mom because they came from me. They know without a shadow of a doubt that there's no one else out there that um, is going to take care of them like me, that they will, that, that they don't have options. Like when you have a foster child, they have other options if their birth, birth parent is still in the, in the picture. And so I found myself grieving and sad, um, but still continuing on with life, at least trying to on the outside, uh, while on the inside, slowly, you know, emotionally letting my emotions um, wreak havoc pretty much and so now I am trying to repair the damage done is the best way to put it um, emotionally during that time frame like within the last three weeks I'll say um, two to three weeks and to not let it continue on into like the Christmas holiday going into January you know because the weather is still um, cold and dreary you know th there's some sunny days here and there but for the most part it's like I could lay in bed and you know with the covers over my head and just kind of sleep all day and just you know mope around um, just thinking about the fact that I still want children um, and it doesn't always hit me like this when the um, kids come and go we had another um, child come into the home and we knew that they were only going to be here for a couple of days and they came and they left. Um, but it wasn't, I wasn't as deeply affected as it was by the younger one that came and left um, suddenly. And so now I find myself kind of struggling to get through. And um, another thing that I want to point out is that during the raw vegan challenge, um, I went in with a plan. I went in with... Um, my mindset on I want to do this to heal myself to um, get under 200 and you know get to the other side of that and then I kind of lost focus when um, the little the child left because I was um, so bent on trying to make sure that my other kids were okay comforting them even though um, they try to be strong as well because you know um, kids are resilient and so when the other child left, you know, they were like, oh, I'm sad. Um, I feel like I want to cry, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I'm strong. And it's like trying to, you know, let them know that it's okay to cry. It's okay to be sad. Um, and then you're being strong for them. Um, at least that's, that's me. And so now it is a bit of a transition. I'll say that just getting back into the groove of things it's like when you have expectations and they don't go the way that you expected them to go um the at the end of the at the end of the day we know that god already knew he knows your end from your beginning so he was not taken by surprise and so we kind of ask have to ask god okay god this is a situation that i'm in you knew that this was going to happen you knew where i would be you know, the decisions that would be made and um, yet here I still stand. So what is it that you want me to learn from this? What is it that you want me to get out of the situation? How do you want me to go through it? How do you want me to grow through it? And so um, that's kind of where I am right now. Just kind of seeking God for guidance going forward um, and, and making some decisions regarding um, our, our fertility journey. I won't say infertility, I'll say fertility journey as far as, you know, what options we want to pursue to try to uh, increase our family. And so I will keep you guys updated on the decisions that we make. And um, if you watch the video until the end, thank you so much for watching. It wasn't supposed to be this long, but I'm just kind of thinking through as I'm talking to you guys um, and just giving you an update. So... Uh, the Raw Vegan Challenge is over. We're in December. I am getting ready for the holidays. I've kind of decorated for Christmas, but once again, like I said, I've just been struggling a little bit, just trying to get over um, the child leaving and just, you know, my emotions that have risen back to the surface about not conceiving just yet. And so I was having a little bit of a difficult time trying to get into the holiday season, excuse me, but I am here. And I'm working hard to get through it. So 
Um, keep me guys in your prayers and I will do the same for you. Thank you so much for joining me um, on life's journey. It's not just a fertility journey, not just a health journey. It's really just my whole life um, on this channel. And so stay tuned for more recipes. I'll post the rest of my uh, raw vegan uh, recipes that I did do while I was on the journey and um, just kind of give you guys an, um, some idea of if you guys decide you want to do it. Um, don't shy away from posting comments or um, tagging me in your videos and I will definitely come and look. I, I'll respond to all comments but just thank you guys for stopping by. Um, I'm about to head off to bed for the night but I will see you guys in the next video so thank you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell um, so you don't miss an upload and once again I try to upload once a week but like I said it's just been a crazy past couple of weeks, past couple of weeks with um, everything going on, just an emotional roller coaster. And so thank you guys for your support. I appreciate you all. Love you and I will see you guys soon. Bye.